Hey everyone, just wanted to do an update video here for the new N64 Blaster 2.0. Uh, so this is the replacement for the current N64 Blaster as well as the programmer. So this is a quick little thing just to go over some of the extra features here and uh, how it's a little bit different than the last one. So uh, first off, of course, programmer looks quite a bit different. Uh, difference for the different systems here would be that now it's got this extra little adapter slot. So rather than having one hard slot sitting on there, I kind of took a page out of DB Electronics book there, which I'm sure he won't mind, but uh, gonna be using these little pin, th uh, pin adapters to switch between the different consoles. So now if I wanna write Game Boy, just pop my uh, adapter in there. Now it's ready for Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Uh, and then, of course, I'll have those for all sorts of different systems. I've got one over here for uh, Sega Genesis as well, and, of course, for our N64. Um, so, biggest changes here are going to be um, mostly in the user interface, so the software is definitely a lot different, easier to use, um, much easier to use than the last one with regards to getting set up. So... <clears throat> The, uh, of course, with the programmer, you also have to have cartridges. So this is the new N64 blaster design. So this, aside from some minor silkscreen text things I have to fix, the hardware works as intended. So we have uh, over here on the left, we've got your CIC select and your EEPROM select type. So basically, think of it like a binary uh, counter. So you've got the first one here is up, That's uh, that selects the 6103 type, um, and so on and so forth. It kind of selects between the different versions. If all of these uh, dip switches are down, your default is going to be a 6102 with a 4K EEPROM. Right now on here, I am running Banjo-Tooie. So this is going to be a 6105 CIC with a 16K EEPROM. Move that over so you can see it loads right up battery holder on the back of course you can see from there uh, for the SRAM which is over here got your SRAM uh, this board here if I can get to focus it also supports now a 64 megabyte ROM size so that's going to be now double the capacity of the last N64 blaster model uh, which will, with along with the uh, 16K EEPROM, will now allow people to do games like your Conker's Bad Fur Day, stuff like that, that we couldn't do on the last one. Um, so now for programming, really straightforward on these ones here now. Basically, um, I'll just kind of go through, we're going to write a quick game to it, change the CIC type, and then we'll show you how that boots up. So, got the programmer here, we're going to plug it in. If I can do this. Let's zoom back a little bit. Pop our cartridge in. We're going to go over to the computer side of it here. So it auto detects on this one. So once the program is actually plugged into the computer, try that again here. Software is still being developed so obviously this is going to change a little bit when it's all said and done but this will be pretty close so click on about here just reads the firmware off the off the uh, programmer tells us what's in it what version we're on um, click on right here it's going to pop up our ROM select so from here I'm just going to go and pick something uh, simple let's just do Dr. Mario double click on that so erase write and verify all that works automatically so you don't have to click between different buttons everything will just go through and uh, it'll also tell us what game we've written how long it took all that sort of thing which is similar to the last model I've also added this feature here which is play sound when finished which people were asking about because uh, sometimes they leave the computer when their other N64 blasters were being written and they didn't know when they were done so this way here as soon as the program is done it's gonna play a little sound effect which you can change it just it, I included a default one but it can be changed to pretty much anything else so we should be done right away here and, uh, and then we'll pop it in we'll make sure it works and 
kind of go from there. So otherwise, again, different systems are going to be supported. This one, this program software right now, there we go, right's done. This software right now is just built for N64, but uh, again, it's going to be pretty easy for us to change that around. So um, to add different features as we go, so, or different systems rather. Uh, so program is now done. I'm going to pop it out of here, place it into the cartridge, or sorry, into the console. But first we have to change the CIC type. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we're going to just drop all these dip switches down. So now it's set up for 6102 CIC, which Dr. Mario uses. Pop that in, turn it on, and we're good to go. So again, just a quick little video there. I'm going to obviously go through a lot more uh, in depth once I actually have things closer to completion. But uh, just wanted to show that the hardware is working well, and we'll uh, go from there. Thanks.